morning and welcome to a clary tale and welcome to the first athens video i'm here outside our hotel where i'm on the balcony i thought i'd start the video out here because it's a lovely sunny day it might be a bit noisy though so sorry about that had an amazing night's sleep here at the herodian i hope you enjoy this video we're gonna have a really fun sightseeing tour of Athens today. We're going to the Acropolis, we're going to Hadrian's Arch, we're going to the Temple of Zeus and I think we're going to have dinner in Placa and hopefully we're going to have time to sit in the jacuzzi and have an Acropolis view from our hotel this evening as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go and have a lovely day. It's gorgeous, beautiful, and sunny, and I'm just really happy to be here. It's already 26 degrees. So we're gonna go down for breakfast now. We got to choose what we wanted. There was little tick boxes for, um, it said healthy breakfast, vegan breakfast, um, continental breakfast. There was a full English breakfast. So loads of options, it's so, so good. Uh, we've gone for continental, so I'll show you that. And let's have a lovely day in Greece. We've come down to breakfast and we've got peach and then some cake. Chocolate cake and Madeira cake for breakfast. Now this is something I can get used to. <laughs> Sam is getting some tea. tea. We've got some juice. We've got our continental breakfast. Some bread bits in there as well. Sam's got the same, but he's got fried eggs instead of spackball. Oh. So I'll show you on the map what we're doing today. So we're on this road here. Yeah, that's our this, hotel. Right, so if we walk down the road, if we walk over to this Dionysus one, this is all pedestrianised, and then we'll go this way Yeah. to Hadrian's Arch Yeah. Um, and the Temple of Olympian Zeus. This is like one big roundabout, basically. And then we'll come back and go to the Acropolis, which is all this area here. It's huge. Wow. Um, so we'll go and see that today. And then Placa... So Later if we on. stay on this, we did this a little bit last night, if we stay on this pedestrian road, it's a really beautiful walk round past the um, observatory and the big church and then down into Monasteraki and Placa. Um, so it's one big one big loop basically, okay. but it's, it won't take long. We'll have a little look Yeah. and see and if it's we'll somewhere be, for dinner. Yeah, exactly. But because up here we'll be high, it obviously you can't see it on this map, but we'll be slowly climbing up the hill on the outside of this road and then coming down into Monasteraki so we'll see everything from up here. Okay. Yep. Great, let's go. Oh, I thought I'd come and show you what it's like in the daytime. Look at the Acropolis. Because I mightn't have shown you properly last night. It might have been a bit dark. This is our hotel. I am so excited to be here tonight. So this is Hadrian's Arch. I keep accidentally calling it Hadrian's Wall, but that's definitely in Scotland and not in Greece. So, a triumphal arch, AD 131 to 132, to honour their benefactor emperor. And then you've got the Acropolis, you can just see it peeking out over there. You'd be going into it, because the Roman Agora um, is on that and side. The Agora is on that other side of the Acropolis. So, so this you, would be, be the way in. in. Greece, yeah. Oh, wow. So we're just walking around this path from Hadrian's Gate, uh, Hadrian's Arch, and we just saw this hill. We're actually going to hike up that tomorrow or the next day. So that's the entrance to Zapio Gardens, and we're just walking in here to the Temple of Zeus to get our tickets. Okay. Wow. So it's usually eight euros, but it's free today. Eight euros the... for the entrance to here, or you can get a yeah, like a multi pack. Yeah. Some That's Sundays wild. in the month, it's free. That's good. We're just walking in, and I just can't even tell you how big that is. I'm really, oh, it's amazing. I'll get closer to try and show you the size. And then it looks like something, the one's fallen here. Wow. So what's this? This is a plan of the site, and so the ones that are standing are the black dots. Oh, is this what it would have looked like? This is what it would have looked like, the footprint of the size oh, of the building. It would have been massive then yeah. if only there was a standing. So number one is, is the main one, yeah. and that was 124 to 132 AD. Wow. We must be here, because it looks like these columns here that we're about to walk into is this entrance uh, way yeah. here. I think that's where we are now. There isn't a Vuzaiti. <laughs> Gosh, right, should we go and have a look? 
are they doing think something to at the bottom there, do yeah, you think? Preserving them. looks like we've got some more of the rock that's fallen in this section. <laughs> it's, it's marble. Marble, yeah. All <gasps> oh, these marble stones. Oh yeah, these olive trees. Wow coming through and then these are the Roman baths so even though that was free today on a Sunday the plan was to get the 30 euro ticket to see all the sights um, and get it here because it's quieter to buy it here because at the Acropolis there's always a really long line um, to get that ticket so we thought we'd come here get it and then when we're at the Acropolis we just go straight in um, but we don't need to it's free today so there might be a bit of a queue we'll see when we get there um, but we're heading to the Acropolis now which is so exciting to finally see it up close so we're walking back round now going past Hadrian's Arch again how much does a Greek earn? <laughs> 250. <laughs> Little church back there. Yeah. And then... <laughs> wow. <gasps> wow, look at all these. We just found Fanta Peach, the one we were obsessed with in Japan. Chip chip ones. Berry, grape, strawberry, pineapple, which is in Club Cool, or was in. Wild cherry? Wow, we're really lucky there's not much of a queue. Do we go here? Yeah. It's free again, which is amazing. Here we go. Let's have a little look at this info. We're getting close to the midday sun walking up here. <laughs> But didn't time that very well, but yeah, there we go. They say um, <laughs> only mad dogs and Englishmen go out. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> this is one of the theatres on the side of the Acropolis. The, I think it's the Theatre of Dionysus, it, it said. Yeah, look at this. Imagine sitting, watching a play with the Acropolis behind you. So the hill itself is called the Acropolis and then it's the Parthenon that's on top. So a lot of people always call the Parthenon the Acropolis, don't they? More than one, yeah. Yeah. Look how they've made these walls. So the marble is only the front brick and the paper wall. Oh yeah. The paper stones are just made with compressed stone and they just use the marble as a front. To thing. look good. Look good on the front. This is quite a hike. Yes, it's quite, quite high. So now we're coming up to the other theatre, which is the uh -huh. which is the oh, one that our hotel. Should we have gone that way? Uh, or should... That's just going to show some arches. And oh, okay. The theatre is what our hotel's named after. Oh, the Herodian. Herodian. And this is the larger theatre, which they still use to hold plays now. We'll probably see it from up here. You can't really see the Parthenon right now, but look how steep it is. So we're going all the way around. You can see over. Athens, look at all those buildings. Yeah. So yeah, this is the Theatre of Herodian, the one our hotel's named after. It is huge. I would love to see something here. Oh, 
Right, we're going to carry on. Last little leg up. 13th century BC. Wow. Let's go. So this is the entrance. I'm going to walk over now. You've got to be really careful. It's really slippery, the marble. Oh, and we're going to go up this hill, aren't we? Yes. That's, up this hill. Yeah. Wow. And then that's down into the island of Salamis, down to Piraeus, the port, <gasps> where you get your cruise ships and things like that. Yeah. And then down into the other islands is A and O without being able to see. Yeah. Looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. So we're standing up at the top of the Acropolis and I've just spotted our hotel and the jacuzzi. So can you see those two flags? The jacuzzi is right there and that's our hotel. Look, that's where we were earlier today as well. There's Hades Gate and the Temple of Zeus. in the columns and see the difference in the columns to the one on the Olympic Zoo so this one here which has got curly tops oh, yeah. the ones up there they've got flat tops oh yeah there's three different types of columns the main oh are they yeah so the real ones they said I read in that book on the plane yesterday um, are in the um, Acropolis Museum <gasps> well so we'll see them tomorrow and one of them is in the British Museum in London yeah we'll, we'll go into the museum tomorrow so we we'll, should see them the real ones. I love it up here. We've been here quite a while. That's trees now. Yeah. And if you can hear, there's a lot of whistles going because there's a lot of people climbing on things and going over ropes. So there's a lot of people here just kind of telling everyone off. Oh, this artwork's beautiful. Wow. Oh, look at the blues and the whites of oh, the artwork. Is that Santorini? Oh, Mykonos. Yeah, Mykonos. Right. We've just come down, so there's the Parthenon. We've just come down this way and we're walking across here. I think we've just taken the wrong turn and we're in Liverpool because the Beatles are here. <laughs> It's called Plaka, a little bit of a marketplace, loads of souvenir shops, things like that. We've 
just come into this little cafe sitting in the shade and this is the view I'm not gonna get tired of that this week look at this I've got a chocolate it looks more like a slush a chocolate slush and then you've got a frappe drinks and a view <laughs> That's so nice. It's so chocolatey. It's really rich. Mmm. I love they've got all the syrup. So we're just walking down this way. The Acropolis is just behind. That's where we had our, our coffees then. Uh, we're walking down here uh, to Monastiraki and the ancient Agoras. We thought we'd check those out while it's still early. There's quite a few little market stalls down here. It's really cute. Ancient Agora. I'm gonna check this out. Again, it is part of that multi-ticket, but I think it's gonna be free because we're here today. So the Ancient Agora is the old marketplace or the old, old gathering place, and that's where agoraphobia comes from, mm -hmm. like too many people. And um, Sam was saying before about a crop a acrophobia. acrophobia which is because Acropolis being so high up it's the fear of heights it all stems from Greece doesn't it all yeah. the Greek words so we're just going to end up if anyone's seen my big fat Greek wedding we're just going to sound like the dad from that because you give me a word and I'll tell you the root of that word <laughs> from, from Greece Palace of the Giants grand and luxurious building designed for musical performances ah that's what this area would have been Wow! So this is a temple of Stophanes, I think it was. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. He was the, like the god of blacksmiths. Ah. And this that's one's gorgeous. really, a lot of it is still standing. Look at it. Wow. Arsenal Supporters Club. That's where we <laughs> sit meet up. Let's go. BC. <laughs> that's before they moved to North London. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Gosh, it's big. You can really get close to it as well. Oh uh, yeah, so these are your Doric ones. So Doric must be square. Squared off with like smooth, they don't have the curly ends and they no. don't have the flower. They have more of a squared off top. Oh, I bet, look at, must, they must really light it up at night. But this is part of the ancient Agora. They kind of rebuilt this thing or made up what it would have looked like, the stoa. Which is kind of this like, is it this thing here this building here there's ah. a lot of columns on it we'll go over there in a bit yeah so that's obviously a replica of what it would have looked like but you so would that have been full of marketplace yeah and wow. you can't believe how cool it is standing in there because obviously the way that they they built it so it's high ceilings and uh, oh they've got the year ad 150 and this is what it used to look like Nicobetos. Nicobetos, yeah. really good view of that here and then just there is so this is a Corinthian top of the column. It's a bit more um, elaborate. Elaborate, yeah. So were all these? These probably were columns. Foundation. Columns. Wow. Can you imagine what this would have looked like and all the market stalls? So yeah, this is a replica of what this used to look like. Can you hear those crickets? <laughs> I think it's coming from that tree. Singing in chorus. Stoa of Atalos, 159 BC. Wow. So it looks like the restoration happened in the 50s. And look, financial support of Rockefeller. Oh, actually, Rockefeller Jr. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, it's pretty new though, isn't it? <laughs> And then this is the third type, Ionic. So that's got little circles on it. You can still see some of the paintwork. Oh yeah, on the Ionic. 
iconic ionic <laughs> scale model here of the acropolis and then there's a view of it out the window <laughs> and that's where we've just walked from that's right and there's the observatories on the hill so that's up near where we had coffee oh where those ago. round roofs are yeah so we've just walked into the entrance and got our ticket for the Roman Agora this time. Um, later. It was oh, built yeah. between 1911 BC. 13 is that building down there? And what is it? It's the Tower of the Winds. Tower of the Winds. So that, that building there. Yes. There's not as much to see in this one in the Roman Agora, but it's still really nice to look around and imagine what it would have looked like. Looks like you can go in. Sorry? I think you can go in. Yeah, so you just... Oh no, you can't, it's roped off. Oh, these are steep. <laughs> Gosh, it's marble though, isn't it? Romans it's beautiful. <laughs> Romans had longer legs than we do. I doubt it. Oh, look how cool it makes it. Whoa. So what did they do in here? I think it's just a temple. Oh. Through the window. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool in here. It's lovely. Old style air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. We've just found the Hard Rock in Athens. We're going to have a little look in the shop. So this is the Monastiraki Square. We've been um, a woman I was sitting next to on the plane told me that this 360 bar is amazing for the views at night so we might do that one night get a drink we've just found a Starbucks and we collect the you are here collection so we're just trying to decide whether to get Athens or Greece I do think I prefer the Athens one I prefer the colors of it I have blue and white it's the Greek yeah, colors exactly um, they've actually got Crete here as well and Mykonos and Rhodes. Rhodes, Corfu. Thessalonica is a city in the north. Ah. Right, should we get it? Oh, they've got the little ones too. This is the Starbucks. It's on Amu Street. We got our mug. Which is in here. We got the Athens one in the end. Simon's just found a watermelon Fanta. This is very exciting. Good. Mm. Very physical. It's not, it's subtle, it's not strong. Oh yeah, that is nice. That, oh yeah, that's really nice. We are just walking back to the hotel. We're gonna have a little bit of a relax. We might do the jacuzzi and stuff now before dinner, because we're not quite hungry yet. Um, and just uh, put our feet up for a bit. We've done a lot of walking today. Welcome to the hot tub with the Acropolis view. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> we haven't started it yet. Um, you put your hotel key in here and it bubbles for 15 minutes, which is cool. I can't believe this is our view. Oh, we're just going to relax for a little bit now. We've had a little run around the town and we're just going to have a nice chilled evening before we go for dinner. We are back out for the evening. We're going to find some food. We just asked at reception. We went down to say that we don't want breakfast in the morning so that they don't waste any food um, because we're going to go and get some traditional cheese pies in the morning so stay tuned for that next week um, but we asked him for some really good places to eat and he said uh, there's a place I go every second Sunday with my family uh, Taverna down here and we were like yes that's where we want to go always go where the locals go um, so we're gonna see we're gonna see if we can find it and check it out and see what there is for dinner tonight. Very excited, we're very hungry. I've not eaten since breakfast. I've not really felt hungry because of the heat. Um, so yeah, I'm ready now. Should be. This is the place he said, so we're gonna try it. Authentic yeah. cuisine, moussaka. Oh, this looks lovely. So I'm gonna have the famous saganaki, which is, it's a grilled cheese, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fried cheese. Fried cheese, sorry. Yeah. And then I'm going to have moussaka, which is a Greek lasagna yes. with bits of cinnamon and potatoes. Sliced potato, sliced um, aubergine. aubergine. Yeah, I'm going to have those too. What are you going to have? I think I'm going to have a Greek salad. Yeah. While in Greece. While in Greece. <laughs> I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to get some tzatziki. Yeah. And I'm going to get the grilled sausage. Mechanico. 
Okay. It's going to be really good. And it might come with chips. If not, I'll get some french fries. <laughs> Let's go all out. They've come over with the uh, waters. Probably get bread anyway. Yeah, probably. Sam has got himself a Greek beer. Mythos. So you get. Oh, is that the bread? Yeah, bread. With the receipt on it. Yeah. On a peg. Somi's bread. So you get like. They, they, they charge you for the, they ah. charge you for the cutlery and everything like that yeah. for the table. So that's what that is. But it's actually the words somi, which is bread. Simon's Greek salad has arrived. Look at all that feta. You want to try some of that cheese? Wow. Yeah, I will. That looks amazing. And then this is the tzatziki. Tzatziki, yeah. That's a, that's so garlic, it's garlic yogurt, cucumber, and mint. Normally. Yeah. So it's garlic yogurt, cucumber, and mint. What's the yellow? Is that olive the oil. Oh, olive oil. Wow. That's a big plate of it. <laughs> We've got the moussaka. We're just sharing out. Looks good. That's the Look at all that. Bechamel. Is that the bechamel? And then is that the mince meat? Mince lamb, probably. Oh, mince lamb and then aubergine. Ooh, looks good. How's it taste? Very good. It's hot. Is it good? It's hot. It's very hot, be careful. I'm going to love that cheese. Um, I don't know if it's minced lamb or if it's minced beef, but traditionally it's lamb. That tastes so nice. It tastes like Christmas because of the cinnamon and the spices. It's really good. It's amazing. <laughs> this is the Saganaki. I'm so excited for this. The cheese is so good. I first had Saganaki at Cuisina. Does anyone remember Cuisina at Boardwalk? Oh, really? Yeah. At Disney. But we also had it in um, the Greek restaurant in Tarpon Springs. Well. Oh, we did, yeah. Oh, it's massive. Oh my gosh, so excited. Simon's fries have arrived. We have a eyes. lot of food. Some of these eyes are beginning to develop. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that cheese. Can you see that? It smells amazing. I can smell it. It smells so good. Go on then, try it. <laughs> I think all you're going to do now is eat cheese for, cheese. for 10 days. Yeah. The last thing has arrived from all our feast. What did you get? A sausage? Yeah. Oh, look sausage. at that. Looks amazing. Oh my gosh, all this food is ridiculous. <laughs> we, were all too, we were too excited for all the Greek food. Wow, we were full, we were defeated. That was such a good meal. It was a restaurant called Opus Palia, which means kind of Greek traditions, family traditions. So really glad he recommended that. So this is where we had breakfast this morning, but I couldn't really show you because obviously it's full of people. But it's so pretty and I love the way the tree comes out. They've built it around the trees. There's one there and then there's one over there as well. It's so pretty at night with all the little fairy lights. We've just come down here for a drink and we're going to have a little game of backgammon. Backgammon, yeah. There's chess as well. Does anyone know how to play backgammon? I do. <laughs> we're a chip short, so we're, we've improvised. <laughs> that one's for the yellows, that one's for the browns. I will. I thought I'd end the video with the, a view of the Acropolis. Simon just taught me all his best tactics for backgammon and I ended up beating him. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, I'm going to say goodbye to you here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this jam-packed day. Come back next week for another fun day in Athens. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Bye! Maybe.